two players mainly, Marcus Simeon and Corey Seager. Now, Corey Seager has swung the bat really well, hitting the ball in the ballpark. It took Marcus Simeon a little bit longer to get things going, but it's a team that lost over 100 games last year, and you're expecting by having those two additions, you would show improvements. And you didn't really see the type of improvements that you wanted to down in Texas. And they had uh, a lot of one-run losses mm -hmm. uh, this season. And can you blame the manager for all of that? No. But as we've talked about uh, the other three times when managers got fired this year, it does fall at the feet of the manager. So the timing seems weird. Yeah, uh, and it's just like, look, we're in August. Why not let uh, the managers finish out the season at this point? So you, you wonder what's gone on behind the scenes. But... Yeah, now the Texas Rangers, after having that big offseason, go into this offseason looking for a new manager. Yeah, I mean, do you, you were talking about the timing, and I wanted to ask you about that, but given maybe the what's happened with some of the other teams that have fired their manager in season, do you think maybe that kind of prompted them to do it now? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. uh, and especially, like, you know, you're referring to, like, the Phillies with Rob Thompson as the right. manager after the firing of Joe Girardi. Uh it, no, I, I, if I had to compare the two, they're different just because, you know, the Phillies are in a situation where they did it early enough where they had a shot and still have a shot to be in the postseason, whereas the Rangers aren't one of those teams that, uh, you know, is knocking on the door of a, a postseason spot. So it's interesting, the timing, when you compare it to some of the other firings around the big leagues. But, uh, yeah, now, now a team that had – decent expectations I wouldn't say lofty expectations because after you lose 100 games it's a it would be a, a tough ass to say hey be in the playoffs but you know when you invest that much money you're looking yeah. for improvement yeah